Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, crazy. I am about to switch my laundry. It's always a laundry day and there's always laundry. Y'all have a big family? Man, I feel sorry for you guys. Cause I do laundry like every, I try to do one load every day or every other day or whatever I have the chance to. So it's nice to, um, you know, yeah, have some clean clothes, clean underwear. <laughs> hey, Toa, stop. But I swear, this is definitely the, this is definitely something that I am always doing when I'm home. If anything, I'm very thankful that we have a, a washer and dryer because there's so many people out there that don't have one. You know, they gotta go to the laundromat. They gotta go to <coughs> a family member's house. So definitely, I'm thankful. Thankful to have this. Do a well, anyways, challenge. how are you guys doing today? I started a little late, but that's okay. I feel like I always start a little late, but better late than never like i always say it's been very cold today and we are about to take toa to the park he needs to burn off some energy and we're gonna play santa and drop off some gifts to our family's doors because you know, we cannot really be around anybody. But you know, we can definitely put a smile on their face and drop off some gifts. Even though we're gonna have a very, very, very quiet, quiet um, Christmas this year. Just like we had a quiet um, Thanksgiving. And it's totally fine. I feel like when people say that we're gonna be spending the holidays alone, that's, that's, perfectly fine. I feel like a lot of people are like depressed because you know every single year just like me I've always 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 been around family. I've never not had spent the holidays alone um, but you know that's when you really gotta like really think about it and and really put this moment that we're having right now like and change it into a positive one like you know I'm thankful that I'm able Sit. to um, Sit not spend too much time in the kitchen this holiday season you know we'll, we'll literally just relax the whole day and stay in our jammies and i don't know watch movies this christmas with just us um but you know i'm thankful for that because you know you get your alone family time and um at this point that's you know that's all that matters that you know your your i mean your extended family obviously matters but you know being alone and and spending these times um, alone together is definitely um, a change for lots and lots of families around the globe. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, you guys, Toa hates it. Toa hates it when when um, Joe hugs me. You want to hug me, babe? You want to hug me? Hey! Ah! Ah! He's like, I want to be included. Come here. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go ahead and try this dog train collar. For the first time, it's been in our it's been it's been in our uh, laundry room for like how many weeks, babe? So we're gonna see. It's so funny because Mason is super super protective when it comes to Toa, and he was so upset when he heard that um, Joe had bought that training collar because he thinks it's literally gonna shock him and he's gonna like get hurt. Obviously we don't, we, we, don't, we don't want to hurt him. We want to, um, we, our focus is on training him. And um, what this collar does, I think it just taps them on the neck to, to be like, hey, you know, stay in our close vicinity. And a lot of people don't believe in that. And that's perfectly fine, but we definitely um, wanna try it out. We want to be open-minded when it comes to, um, um, you know, what's out there as far as like training, training your your pet. Um, there's so many things out there, and um, we definitely want to try it out. If it doesn't work for us and we don't like it, or if it hurts too much or whatever, because obviously Joe's gonna try it on his own self, <laughs> then we're not gonna use it. And um, I think it's all about you know trial and error. We never 
we've never tried anything like this and we thought it would be, um, you know, something different for us and for Toa to um, listen to us because he doesn't really listen to us when we're outside. We're outside. Um, don't get me wrong, he listens to us, but sometimes we have to, we have to shout a little bit more when we're outside so he can listen to us. Like we gotta say what, we gotta say his name like three times, not once, you know, like we do in the house and he listens. Um, he gets just way too excited when he's, um, when he's out at the park. And yeah, so our focus is, you know, making sure that um, he listens, especially when there's other dogs out. Most of the time, I'll just like hold him if I see another dog pass by. I'll just hold him by the collar and wait till they pass by, and then I'll let him go because we that's what we do at our park over here. But yeah, but anyways, I am gonna go ahead and finish up with our laundry here, and then I will take you guys along with us to the park. So we'll see you there. Come on, let's go. Come here. You have treats? Go get treats, babe. Stay. Look, he's waiting for the... Waiting he for the loves ball. the park so much. There he goes, y'all. Poop. Poopy time. It is? Yeah, you can tell. He's peeing. Here we go. Ready? Come on, let's go. Ready? That's my good boy. Today just feels so inspired. It's such a beautiful day today. And it's such a nice day to come out with your family and hang out outdoors if you're allowed to where you're at. And yeah, it's just an awesome day today and I'm about to throw this. You guys can watch how I throw. Is that your Santa Claus? Let go. Let go. Good boy. Sit. Toa, sit. Sit. Stay. Go get him. Is that your friend? Is that your friend? We are driving out to the Bay Area um, to go visit. Well, we're not gonna go visit, but we're gonna go drop off um, some of the Christmas gifts that we have for our um, family um, that are out there. So basically, we're just playing uh, Santa Claus today. Watch as we take our little trip out to the Bay Area and drop off some gifts and then Santa Claus. <laughs> we are hungry, so now it's time for... What are we eating? Chip Otto. No, it's Chipotle. I wish I was in New Zealand. I'm just, put me on an island. Y'all, yeah, if you guys are watching this, today I'm going in. You know what, let me not wear this. Today, I'm going in on my Samoa trip. The first trip that we did um, in 2019, I was just sharing with Joe like how blessed we were able to even enjoy and travel all of 2019 before all of, you know, this huge pandemic broke out. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so, ooh. <laughs> I just feel so thankful that we were able to do that. Twice. Like I am just two times in 2019 and we went to Hawaii. Like we 
lived it up in 2019. So if you guys didn't watch those previous vlogs, I'll link them down below. And we just had such a good time. I feel so thankful that we were able to do that. That was absolutely on our bucket list. Like that was like the top of our bucket list. And we nailed that. Can we go back? Ooh, can I say sh I'm sorry. Cause you know, you know really some, isn't okay. some of your viewers are gonna come at you for that. <laughs> For your potty I don't care, come at me, nah. Come at me, bro. Imagine Samoa being on our list. Like, imagine we cannot, I don't know, hypothetically speaking, imagine like there is no travel, like, there's a travel ban and blah, 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 blah for like the next 10 years or so. Like, I would be so sad because at we least, didn't make it to two. Samoa. Like, Samoa was like 2019, sum it up. That was our. The islands was our like trip in 2019. We, we That's still, all we, we did. We still have to go back to Savai and stay the night. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, there's a. That happens where with everywhere that you go. Like you are, you're like, hey, like I'm. Next time I come back, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z, and we have so many reasons to go back because obviously, number one, family. Number two, like we definitely want to explore. We didn't get to explore. I mean, we explored and we kind of dipped our foot in the water. But the next time we go, we definitely know exactly where we want to go. No, I... We know exactly what we want to do. We know exactly like there's things that on my list again when we go to Samoa like. There's things on my list that I'm like, we're doing that again. Just yeah, because I want to experience that This again. time we're going to stay at the Moa Resort. And on we're just going to chill there in Savai and explore it. We only had, what, eight hours to explore before Lady Asamoa was to sail off? Yeah, we didn't have that much time, but we definitely want to, um, now that we see that, we seen that side of the eye, that side of that eye. Look, he's in a... He's in a hit. 